That's the wind blowing. Welcome. Come on into our kitchen. Hi, Sherry. Hello. What's going on? Well, I was going to show you how to make a chicken. I know how to make a chicken. I don't think we can show it. A correction. We're going to put a chicken on our, who is it, Ronco Popeil? Rotisserie chicken machine. Yes. All right. All right. And already our first friend has sent us a product to try. Tell us so about it. So I'll let you tell us about it. All right. So this is a big shout out to Pastor Ben with this dry rub. I haven't tried it yet. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to put it on this chicken. And I'm pretty excited about it. He swears by it. And we're going to test it out today. So we're going to have us a rotisserie chicken with Pastor Ben's dry rub that he recommended. Thanks again, Ben. I Thank appreciate you. it. So what we're going to do first is you're going to get you a whole chicken. And I already got them out of his packages and I've dried them off. Now what I'm going to do, um, will you open that all? Because no. that's just chicken. No. Didn't think that through. Yeah, guys, if you're touching raw chicken, Here, be I'll careful not to cross-contaminate. So the first thing you want to do is put some olive oil or whatever kind of oil you like to get this dry rub to stick to them. Do you need me to pour some more on it? Yeah. Woo! Got a slosher. We're going to just massage them with some oil. Now why are you putting the oil on it? So the dry rub that we have here will stick. Okay. Now I don't like touching chicken because it's got a lot of what is it um germs germs uh, whatever we don't want to cross contaminate cross, so i use these uh gloves here we do use the gloves a lot when we deal with chicken and pork yeah so we're going to sprinkle it now with some of this rub and this is going to be hours before we're actually gonna um, i want to marry before we rotisserie this chicken so it seems good and we're gonna put him, uh, put him on the outside, and we might douse a little up the chicken's honey bottom, honey. All right, we're going in the honey. Now, the reason you want to do this, guys, is because it's gonna marry the flavor from the inside to the outside. Then you got it on the outside going to the inside. It just gets a little better coverage, and we're not going super heavy on the rub uh, right now because uh, we want to see. We want to see how, um... Because the wife don't like spicy, spicy. So we're scared. And I didn't try it up front, so... We're going to test run it. And it smells good. But the wife is a big old chicken. Like this bird right here. So, uh... So I don't want to over-spice her. And we're going to try it out and see what it tastes like. Alright, we're going to let this sit for about an hour. Are you going to leave it out to kind of get room temperature? Before yeah, I am because I just bought this at the store and it still had ice in it. So I want oh. it to sit here. And then, of course, I'm getting ready to uh, tie it up. Then we'll put it on a rotisserie spit. Yeah, and we'll show you all about that process, guys. Uh, you can oven roast these and they're delicious, but we have a rotisserie. that I guess we've had it like... Like 10 years now. At least 10 years. We use that thing a lot. Got that from QVC. And the rotisserie is, I mean, if you're on the fence, get it. We fix salmon in it, chicken in it, yeah. uh, pork loins. What's that? Uh, prime ribs. Yeah, we're a big fan of it. So we'll be back with you here shortly to let you see the rest of the process. Awesome. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. Hello, gang. Getting ready to put a chicken on the rotisserie. All right, so we got her loaded up. I've got it tied very well. You'll want to make sure I've got the legs crossed and tied. I uh, got the wings tucked back, and I tied the body also. You you want to make sure that the chicken is tied onto the spits, so during the cooking process it doesn't fall. Because if you have a chicken fall off this halfway through the cooking process, it's going to turn into a fiasco. Uh, wouldn't you agree, Sherry? Yeah. 
All right. So we're going to set the timer, what, 30 minutes, 45? Or is it taking an so hour? So per Ronco, they have the instructions right on the side. And it will tell you for chicken, it's 15 minutes a pound. Um, so this is about a five pound chicken. So we are going to start with about an hour and a half. Oh, an hour and 15 minutes? Okay. Is it ready to go? Get away, you Oh, I can't touch it. I've got raw chicken on yeah. me. Good so, call. Make sure we got it on a roast. And we'll be back in about an hour and a half to let you know what it looks like. All right, just wanted to check in, let you see the chicken. About 45 minutes on the rotisserie. Start good, a little golden brown there, looking good. Now here's something over here. <laughs> Squirrels. What are you doing? I'm making this some pasta salad. It's gonna be a creamy Italian pasta salad. So we've already boiled our, if you look in the sink, we already boiled our pasta, and it's one of the pre-boxed uh, deals. But I always take, and I kind of spruce it up. So this one, it's going to be a creamy, so it's got a lot of mayonnaise. But I add Parmesan cheese into it to make it a little bit better. It's a little more taste, if you will. So I don't do like a whole lot, but it just kind of changes the flavor profile just a little bit. And we're going to have this chilled with our uh, chicken that we're having tonight. So I just thought I'd get a little jump start and it's smelling pretty good. It looks delicious. It's gonna be good. We're gonna go ahead and put a little pasta in. Make sure, you spill, make sure you spill it as you do it, cause. Lost a noodle, noodle. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, oh man, this is going to be pretty good. That is delicious. And these little boxes of pasta, what are they, like $2 a box? Yeah, sometimes you can catch them on sale. I always stock up because they got a long shelf life. Yeah, and they're so good. And we eat these with, I mean, anytime we fix chicken, we'll have a box. We'll fix it with pork. I like it with steak. When I grill steak, it's almost summertime for steak season. It's a very versatile side dish. Yeah. And there you go. I mean, so we're going to put it in the fridge, let it chill down for a little bit. The chicken, you know, the chicken's still got a while to cook, probably an hour and a half on it. And uh, it's going to be good. We're going to have chicken and pasta, and that's probably it. I mean, we don't fix a lot of sides with... Uh... Yeah, it's just us. Hi. Hi. What's up? Nothing. That's an extreme close-up. <laughs> <laughs> you scare people. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Hello, guys. It's time to get the chicken out. <laughs> Silly. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's looking pretty delicious. And guys, you want to wear these uh, heat-proof gloves. Because it is hot. That is one good looking good looking bird. It's a good looking bird. Go ahead and uh, I'll snip snip those. Oh, come on. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I had to tie this fat bird up because he was over five pounds. He was a pretty hefty bird. Indeed. And guys, this is uh, scalding hot still. So I'm going to let him sit there for a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and cut off some of the twine. And I'll cut off the uh, twine off his feet here in a minute. Okay, this is very important. This is to Pastor Ben. Oh my goodness, that rub is amazing. That chicken skin, oh my God, it's so good. That rub is crazy. We just like, we sampled a small bite of uh, of the skin. Holy, mm. 
Holy cow, that is delicious. All right. Wow. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Guys, this chicken is falling off the bone. It is uh, really good. Look at this crispy skin. Look at that. You see that crispy skin? Guys, rotisserie chickens, well, if you have a rotisserie at home, they are uh, they are really easy to fix. Oh my gosh. Look at that chick. This ended up mm. really cooking for about close to almost two hours because we like our skin really crispy. I am really impressed with it. Here's the dark meat. I already started eating the skin. I'm gonna cut you off some white meat. Yeah, I'm just kind of breaking the chicken down a little bit and separating it out, getting some skin off. Mm. You try it. You try your piece, let me know. Holy moly. <laughs> mm. I tell you, I'm really impressed with this. That's some good rub. That Show us was... that rub. Patrick's on to something. I don't know where I put it. Salt Lick Dry Rub Original. Wow. Like no other. And they are not lying. That is delicious. That is. Wow. That is a must purchase. All right, we're going to demolish this chicken, guys, and I'll plate it up shortly and show you what we're working with.